Hello cardboard lovers, it's Cardboard Badger here. I hope you're doing well and today we have for you another financial breakdown video. We're going to be looking at another one of the secret layers from the Winter Super Drop 2023. Uh, we got a currently 37 days roughly um, until these will not be available. So the question is, are these going to be worth your money? Or are you paying for some reprints? So today we're looking at the artist series. Uh, Sam Burley, who has been producing Magic the Gathering artwork and illustrations for 11 years. Um, starting off with Aviston Restored. And uh, yeah, he has produced four new pieces of art for this secret layer. So as per usual, we shall have a look at the new fantastic artwork before we then see whether or not we can actually purchase these cards from a previous set in Magic the Gathering's history. Are we able to buy functionally these same cards for less than $29.99 if you want the regular version and as per normal $39.99 for the foil version? Then we will be able to see whether or not these cards actually hold a sensible amount of value or we're just paying way, way too much money for some reprints. So we better have a look at these four new pieces of art. Starting off with Braid of Fire. For two mana, one and a red, we have an enchantment with a cumulative upkeep of add one red mana. Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, put an aged counter on this permanent, then sacrifice it unless you pay its upkeep cost for each aged counter on it. Up next, we have a Planeswalker, Koth of the Hammer. For four mana, two red red, we have a legendary Planeswalker, Koth. Loyalty of three and plus one ability. Untap a target mountain. It becomes a 4-4 red elemental creature until the end of turn. It is still a land. It's minus two ability. You can add one red mana for each mountain you control. And the minus five ability. You get an emblem with mountains you control. Have tap. And this land deals one damage to any target. We also have Master of the Wild Hunt. For four mana, two green green, we have a Human Shaman 3-3 three, three, with, at the beginning of your upkeep, create a 2-2 two, two green wolf creature token. Uh, the artwork's absolutely lovely in this one. I do like the original artwork as well, um, but I am quite fond of this one. And it also says... To tap it, tap all untapped wolf creatures you control, and each wolf tapped this way deals damage equal to its power to target creature. That creature deals damage equal to its power, divided as its controller chooses among any number of those wolves. And the final card, we have Carthus, Tyrant of Jund, for seven mana, four black, red and green. We have a legendary creature, Dragon, seven, seven, it's got flying, it's got haste. And when Tyrant of Jund enters the battlefield, gain control of all dragons, then untap all dragons. Other dragon creatures you control have haste. So it's time to see, can we buy these cards cheaper, starting off with the regular versions? We got the target of $29.99. Are we able to find them in a cheaper form? Starting off with Braid of Fire. You can get a regular copy of this from Cold Snap, which is currently going for $11.47. If you would like Koth of the Hammer, uh, you can get a copy from Scars of Mirrodin. Uh, that is currently going for $3.98. And Master of the Wild Hunt. Uh, the cheapest way you can get a copy of this uh, is from Jumpstart 2022, which is currently going for 93 cents. And our final card, Carthus, Tyrant of Jund. Uh, you can get a copy of this from Alara Reborn, uh, which is currently going for $4.67, giving you a grand total for the regulars of $21.05. So we shall repeat the process. Let's see how we get on with the foil equivalents. We have the target of $39.99, as I've mentioned. So are we able to do this cheaper? Starting off with Braid of Fire, you can get a foil copy from the Mystery Booster Retail Edition, uh, which is currently going for $10.48. Koth of the Hammer, uh, you can buy a foil from the Jewel Decks Venza vs. Koth. Uh, that is currently going for $3.33. And 
and the Master of the Wild Hunt, uh, you can get a foil, the Master's 25 copy, which is currently going for $15.07. And finally, Carthus Tyrant of Jund. Uh, you can get a foil. Uh, the cheapest possible option is the Mystery Edition Retail version. That is currently going for $5.08, giving you a grand total if you wanted these four cards in their cheapest foil version of $33.96. So there we have it. Uh, we have a secret lair, which is not pumping out a huge amount of uh, value, shall we say. But if you like traditional, um, old school style artwork, then um, this set is obviously possibly going to be more interesting to you than maybe some of the other sets in the Winter Super Drop. Um, it is not the worst by far, I have to say. There have been some secret lairs with way, way less value. But it all is dependent on whether or not you actually like the artwork. Um, that is also something that's seriously individual to everyone. Something that I may like may not be something that someone else likes. Um, and that is fine. So the question is, are you going to buy it? Please let me know in the comments below. And obviously if you want to know about other secret layers um, over the Winter Super Drop or previous ones, I'll put a link in the description below where you can find them. We've still got 37 days. If you are unsure and you want to check those out, that'd be great. And if they've been helped to you and you would like to like, share, subscribe, do all the usual stuff, it will help out the channel hugely. Thank you in advance. Other than that, I would just like to say thanks for watching, people, and we will see you again soon here on Carble Badger.